CII's project Stargate is an exercise in raising your consciousness. Everyone's got the potential to unlock their psychic abilities. But first, you need to do the healing work in order to raise your consciousness from a wounded child to an enlightened, interconnected being. That's how you restore your connection to your higher self. You can use the scale of consciousness by David Hawkins. As you can see, fear is very low and this is where most of us are kept intentionally by the current society we live in. Your life transforms when you start to operate at the higher levels of your consciousness. And some might say the limit does not exist since our consciousness is limitless or the potential stored in our consciousness is limitless. And here's the tricky part with Project Stargate and raising your own consciousness. If you know anything about quantum physics, then you know that a particle doesn't operate the way you expect it to operate when you observe it. The same logic is applied to the manifestation process and unlocking your psychic abilities. The messages, the blessings and the lessons don't come when you want them to come. They come when it's time for them to be delivered to you. This is where the law of detachment comes into the picture. It's essential that you detach from your expectations, since your expectations are largely limiting compared to the limitlessness of your potential. You might even say that you've already designed the master plan. And by you, I mean your higher self that designed the game plan or the studying plan before you came to Earth. And what is your higher self? Your consciousness that's operating within your body. And here's one more crucial aspect to Project Stargate that might have been an oversight on their part. The CIA used or tried to use psychic abilities to spy on other people. Astral projections or remote viewing. But do you know what that's called? Bending free will. There are always consequences when you manipulate people and bend their free will. And anytime you play with people's emotions or withhold information, that's you bending their free will. Psychic gifts are part of our connection to the spiritual world, but there are always limits to what we can do with our psychic gifts if our motives are corrupted. And this is how some people lose their psychic gifts the more they play the game called life. And this is how manipulative people face judgment. They manipulate their way everywhere they go until they meet that one person that is ranked higher than them, spiritually speaking. There are always consequences when you try and attack innocent people, especially if you've been doing that for a long time. And for what? Money, fame, approval, status? Project Stargate might have been unsuccessful according to the official records, but psychic abilities are very real. Just remember that there's always a limit to how much you can bend other people's free will.